Today I'm talking to Kulwant, who improved his scores from a band 6.5 to a 7.5, and he is explaining what changes he made to allow that to happen. Tell me about your experience with the IELTS test. Well, uh, initially I started uh, this IELTS journey back in 2018 when I was unaware of the official marking criteria, which is used in IELTS. And uh, I, I just gave the test straight away without following any kind of uh, any kind of coaching or things like that and without knowing the, the official criteria. So then I got to know about uh, your channel from uh, somewhere from YouTube and uh, I subscribed it right away and uh, then then we started uh, i think we started uh three or four months ago right if i'm not wrong mm -hmm. so um uh, i started preparing with you then i got my result with in my very first attempt i got my result in very first attempt after uh preparing from you earlier uh when i was not preparing from you or any other other channel, uh, I was getting a band 6.5 in writing. Other modules were fine, but uh, I was lacking in uh, writing. And somehow in my mind, I was thinking that uh, they intentionally do that to the general training students that they don't give the band score. But I was wrong, actually. That's uh, very common. My, though. my style of, of preparation. A lot of people think that. A lot of people have that same idea. They yeah. Think the IELTS test is out yes. to get them. Yeah. Yeah. And after that, uh, after that, you told me when I took your paid uh, evaluations, like one to one writing evaluations, then I took that and uh, you told me that I am having problems with my my language was not the problem. It was the way I was writing, like I was making things very complicated and uh, I was using inappropriate vocabulary. Uh, in terms of lexical resource, I was getting a lower score and uh, in task response, basically, I was I was completely misunderstanding the question and how to answer that question in a very simple way. So earlier I was making everything very complicated, but uh, I think it's not that complicated if we get a right guidance. Uh, it, it is very easy. And now uh, I spent 7.5 in the writing module. And uh, the one band increment in writing module is uh, very difficult, although, but it is not unachievable. It is not impossible. Uh, I think by putting right things on the right place, uh, rather than focusing on the fancy so-called band nine vocabulary, mm -hmm. we should stick to what we know 100%. We, I, I used words now uh, in my current test, which I gave, I use the words on which I'm 100% sure. I was 100% sure of the vocabulary which I am uh, I was using at that time and uh, earlier for example earlier I was uh, like writing the words for example if there is a word uh, children I was writing kids young ones little ones things like that uh, informal words and these things but this time I wrote children uh, I think uh, seven to eight times I used the word children instead of uh, writing the wrong synonyms I wrote the, uh, the correct form, which was uh, the children. So I think, uh, and one more thing was uh, um, planning before writing. So this was, this was a huge thing. I know uh, it's very difficult and it seems like uh, very difficult to the IELTS candidate that they, they think that they have only 40 minutes to write the task too, and they don't require to plan your essay. But I think this is, a common misconception which which uh, the IELTS candidates are currently having. I think uh, this this time, if we if we spare uh, like if we sorry invest five to six minutes on just understanding the task and how we are going to write that task, this is called the planning. So we get the uh, the correct ideas, the relevant ideas, and uh, I, I think the reasoned arguments must be there. So. Uh, just presenting your ideas clearly, writing a topic sentence in front of any uh, paragraph. So uh, I think uh, this helped me a lot. That's brilliant. Um, but you worked hard as well, which is something you didn't mention. Um, you know, you were very Thank focused. You. <laughs> you took the feedback on board. Um, there were times you definitely didn't, you didn't enjoy getting the negative feedback 
<laughs> on occasion. I know my feedback yeah. is very, very harsh yes. at times, but uh, that, you know, it's, it's what you needed to hear. Um, and it did get you where you're going. Um, just in relation to any students watching, what kind of advice would you give to students who were in the same position as you getting a 6.5 a few months back? I think uh, the main thing which uh, must be done is keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate it. I know there are some institutes, some so-called uh, IELTS experts are available in the market who really don't know what the marking criteria is. And they are only focusing on the vocabulary. Here in India, there are institutes who give hundreds and thousands of words to the students, which are really not applicable in the real life. Mm -hmm. Or in the context of the IELTS exam, they really don't exist. Those high level so-called band nine vocabulary, uh, it really doesn't exist. And one more thing is, uh, I, I think what, what problem the Indian students currently uh, not Indian students, I can say everybody is facing is they just hate planning. And I also did the same uh, when I started writing my uh, essay task two, uh, just, I suddenly just uh, rush into writing and, and I was not planning. But this time I, I invested my five to six minutes to uh, just understanding what the task is and what the task demands us to write really. So this is the main thing. I think they should uh, improve. The, it will improve their uh, task achievement, task response scores, as well as it, it also uh, can increase their vocabulary lexical resource score. I think there are many students whose um, English language, knowledge of English language is completely fine. Like I was having uh, a good mind on English language, but, but th these things, uh, having a good command on English language is just not enough. So I think there are many things which we need to figure out, like planning before writing, using the words on which you are 100% sure in your examination. Just do that. No need to cram that vocabulary. I, I think don't speak or write anything which doesn't come naturally to you. This is the main thing. It's very good advice. Write whatever comes naturally in the context of the question. Brilliant. Great advice. So I this is what I, I have to say. I agree. I agree with everything you said 100%. And your, uh, your proof, your proof of the fact that it works. Um, congratulations. Well done again. And one, one more thing I would like to mention here for everybody is uh, about you. Because there, there were the times when I gave up and I sent you the emails that I don't want to prepare any further because I'm not getting my desired scores even after working a lot, uh, working harder a lot. But I was wrong at that time because if you are not getting your score, just take a break for some time and then come back. Your energy will be doubled, I guess. You you will work hard if, if you want to, really you want to achieve. But I think nothing is impossible if, if uh, a right mentor, a right uh, guide like you is available. I think we are lucky to have you and uh, here so you are providing great guidance i must say everybody should uh, uh, follow this channel and uh, i think that that was the that was uh, the day when that was the one most wonderful day of my life when i got to know about your channel so this is and then, all and then when you got say. your scores <laughs> all right yeah good. yeah thanks yes yes thank yes. you so much if you would like to have the same one-on-one -on -one support that Kulwant had to improve his scores from 6.5 to 7.5, you can find the link for that in the video description.